Hi guys! Welcome to my first sketchbook episode. I have several videos on my channel that are painting tutorials and speed paints, but I wanted to put a sketchbook series on my channel as well because I do a lot of sketching and painting in my sketchbook, so I thought I would share it with you all today. So today I've decided to paint a T-Rex. I've sketched it out first and I've outlined it with Copic Multiliners. Those are the multiliners I showed in a previous video. I am not sponsored by them, but they work really well with watercolor because they don't bleed. So usually with watercolor you start light to dark because you can't paint over the dark colors. However, here, for whatever reason, I'm not sure, I decided to start with my darks. I think it was because I got really excited about painting this T-Rex and I wanted to just dive into all the dark parts. But I do change it up and go light again and then start putting in darker details later on. So here I am putting some light green and yellow down. This will be the base for underneath all the texture. Whenever I'm looking at a picture, or in this case, I actually have a little dinosaur statue that I use for drawing this and coloring it as well. So here's my dinosaur statue. Isn't he cute? I like him a lot. I'm just checking out the lighting on where I need to make things darker when I hold them up in a certain way. So I'm adding more darker green here to make some texture and also the shadows and make it a little bit more 3D instead of flat. And I'll be building on that every time. So if you notice, you'll see that the watercolor dries pretty light sometimes. Depends on how much water you use. If I take more pigment with the water, it'll come out darker. And so I'll be using that as well here. So here I'm just adding some folds to the skin to make it more realistic looking. I'm going in with a darker color. Around the mouth I'm going to make it darker as well to make it more realistic. I'm adding in some blues and greens and also the speckling for the jaw was a light brown and some orange. For the folds of the neck, I plan on making some darker parts so that it pops out and looks realistic. The T-Rex is my favorite dinosaur. I think it's a lot of people's favorite dinosaur. Although I do like raptors as well. They're pretty cool. But there's just something about the T-Rex that is just majestic and very dangerous. And 
I would not want to be around one. <laughs> So I've darkened up the neck and now I'm working on the jaw. I need to make the shadows where they're realistic. I'm also looking at my T-Rex statue so that I can get the colors right. Here I'm using a darker blue to put in some details. I'm actually going to use gouache as well later on in this video and it will cover up some of the blues, but I think it adds to it. Here I'm taking this darker blue and mixing it with a green to make my own color. It's going to show up pretty dark in the sketchbook, but like I said, I will be highlighting more with gouache in a bit. Here I'm adding more texture to the skin. I am also making things darker because I know that I can go over it with gouache. Gouache is a mix between acrylic and watercolor. It has that consistency that's kind of in the middle range. That means that I can use it like acrylic and paint over things. But if I put a lot of water with it, I can also use it like watercolor. This is the gouache set that I got, it's Himmy. It's a cheaper set on Amazon, and as you can see, I don't have two of the paints in there right now, I just decided not to open them yet. So right now I'm taking the yellow and I'm making highlights. 
so I'm using it more like acrylic paint. I'm highlighting the darker spots to bring more light into the painting. And that's just mainly what I'm adding is the yellow. And as you can see, the paint you put down always looks different when it dries. So sometimes it's going to be darker. You know, if it's not a lot of paint, it'll blend in with the background. If it's a lot of paint, then it will stick out more like those yellows on the neck. He's kind of looking like an older dinosaur, like he's seen a lot, he's been through a lot, he's tired. I'm adding black to his pupil, and then I'll be adding black to the tongue area as well. But I will be covering up a lot of that black and blending it together with red to make it a darker shade of red. As you can see, like I said, the black has dissipated because I have covered it with the red. So that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did enjoy it, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for future videos. Also, please check out my Instagram page. Thank you. Bye.